throughout your singing career, you might be interested in working in a variety of performance scenarios. For example, you might want to work in a wedding band, as a singer-songwriter, or maybe even leading your own band. As a live performer, there are a few skills you might want to develop to ensure that you're delivering the most effective and engaging performances. You could have your music perfected, but if you don't have engaging performance skills, all the practice in the world won't help you connect with your audience. Consider all the ways you could interact with an audience, including the things that you say and also the way you use your face and body to communicate. Then think about how some of your favorite singers interact with their audiences during their performances. Speaking is one of the easiest ways to engage your audience and make them feel welcome and involved. Practice some general talking points that you can use between songs. For example, you might consider welcoming your audience or introducing the band. You might choose to share short stories about the song you're singing or talk about why you love singing in that venue or maybe even just announce upcoming shows. Now consider ways that you use your face and your body to engage the audience. Think about how often you might close your eyes, for example. While closing your eyes can convey an introspective or tender moment in a song, too much of it can make your audience feel distant or closed off. In addition to looking at your audience, think of ways that you can have them participate. Bobby McFerrin and Jacob Collier are notorious for having their audiences participate in the music making process. Audience inclusion can be as simple as having them repeat a short melody or rhythm back to you. Check in with your body movement or how you stand, move, or dance on stage. Make sure your movement allows you to maintain good vocal technique and also serves the entertainment and emotional aspects of the music. You might notice that some performers move a lot while others choose to stay in one place throughout the show. For example, Adele often prefers to stand in one spot on the stage with the microphone on the stand, while artists like Mary J. Blige and Beyonce will use the entire stage. Watch some of your favorite artists perform to observe the way they use their movements to entertain or evoke emotion. Then choose which movements best fit your style. Make sure you know how to hold your microphone properly. Good microphone technique ensures that your performance is delivered with your best and clearest sound. Your fans are there to see and hear a great show. Using poor microphone technique can muffle your sound or cause unpleasant feedback, which can ruin the entire entertainment aspect of the show. For your performance, you will also need to decide which mics you prefer to use and whether you will use a mic stand or just hold your microphone. Another important part of performing is knowing how to manage your anxiety. If you struggle with anxiety, try out some management strategies. Rehearse as if you are performing so that there is little room for error during your show. Some anxiety can be eliminated just by adequately preparing for your performance. It might also help for you to familiarize yourself with your performance venue. Then, during your rehearsal, imagine that you are in the venue. Practice how you will move, where you will walk, and what you might see or feel. Another strategy for combating anxiety is to set specific performance goals. When you get on stage, instead of thinking about what could go wrong, set a goal of something you'd like to achieve during the performance, like looking at the audience, or maybe conveying the meaning of the text, or maybe just trying out a new vocal technique. After you've finished, assess whether you've achieved your goal instead of criticizing your overall performance. If you're going to critique your overall performance, identify the things that you would change and an equal number of things that you feel like you did well and that you would keep doing. There are many other helpful strategies to consider, including breathing techniques or therapy. An engaging stage presence is the result of a combination of factors, including the way that you convey your emotion through your body language and facial expression, the way you interact with your audience and your vocal delivery. Your stage presence might also change depending on the venue, how much space you have, and the reaction you are getting from your audience. You can practice some of your performance skills by planning out your speech and your movements beforehand. Record yourself and watch it back to analyze objectively. The best way to develop your performance skills is really just by performing more. Often, we fear the unknown until it becomes familiar. If you are not used to performing, keep performing until it becomes a familiar and hopefully less frightening activity. Gigging is one of the fastest ways to start honing your skills. You can create your own low stakes performance opportunities, performing a short set on social media or gigging at a small venue like a coffee shop. You could check out open mic nights, jam sessions, or even karaoke nights. As you become a more confident performer, then you can use the network you've built to look for more gigs. Take advantage of social media platforms. You might find local bands or entertainment companies posting about auditions. When you are more comfortable performing, then create a full set of music you can perform solo or as a band. Then book your own show. 
Continue the practice of recording and analyzing each performance. Try to mentally detach from praise or criticism from your own perspective, and try to look at yourself through the perspective of an audience member who's looking to be entertained. Then identify specific skills you could improve on, and also take time to celebrate the parts of your performance that you are most happy with. 